हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रेडेंस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम मदन कुमार झा एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट टू इनपुट नैंड गेट स्केमेटिक एंड सी स्टेंजेंट एनालिसिस इन क्रेडेंस फर्जी सो सो फॉर दिस फर्स्ट आई हैव टू क्रिएट अ सेल व्यू सो गो टू फाइल देन न्यू देन इन सेल व्यू क्लिक ऑन टू इनपुट नैंड गेट क्लिक ऑन सेल then name to input nand get so nand nand to ip okay then click on uh, change the library to cadence tutorial then click on okay so now i have to made this schematic of to input nand get so i think uh, if you are familiar with the schematic of two input nand gate then it's okay otherwise i am creating here so uh, for creating two input nand gate i have to use two pmos and two nmos so for fetching pmos and nmos click on press i then go to instance in gpdk 180 library you will find pmos and nmos so gpdk 180 then go to cell press p type pmos so here you will find the pmos pmos so the two pmos should be connected in parallel okay and the two nmos should be connected in series for to input nand gate okay now click on shell then type and mouse then go to symbol then hide it okay then for connecting all the thing you have to use wire so press w for wire So W, then click the source of this N MOS, P MOS with this drain of this P MOS with the drain of this P MOS, and the source of this P MOS with the source of this P MOS. Okay. Now the drain of this N MOS should be connected with this wire, and the source of this N MOS with the drain of the second N MOS. then press i go to analog library analog sorry library i should press analog library then click on cell and type gnd for ground i am going to select the ground here now connect this ground of the nmos with this source of the nmos with the ground so press w for wiring now the bulk of the nmos should be connected with ground so i am going to connect this with ground the source of the the bulk of the pmos should be connected to vdd so i am going to connect it with vdd okay now i have to create two pin a and b for input and one pin y for output okay so press p then change it direction to input then give its name as a and b so first i am going to create a pin a then again press p input and b so this is the pin b now again press p change the direction to output and here going to create this pin as name as y okay so i did then press r and rotate this okay now you can connect the 
get of this pmos with this and the nmos with this okay so this is a again connect this with this and okay so this is input a this is input b okay now the output of this NAND gate should be connected to Y okay so I can generate the symbol of this to input NAND gate also okay but uh, here I have no requirement to generate any symbol because a NAND gate is generally very lessly used in any uh, circuit so if in future I will use it any circuit then I will generate that time okay uh, okay uh, I have not connected the bulk of this NMOS with ground so now I have connected it okay then this is the schematic of a two input NAND gate now connect the source of this PMOS with the VDD so press P no sorry press I then go to analog library DC voltage BDC then set this voltage with voltage to 1.8 volt okay now hide it copy this ground C and connect it here now press W sorry press I go to cell and type VDD okay so this VDD will connect this both terminal virtually without seeing wire it height it the wire is basically hidden and it can connect this V0 to this okay net okay now I have to give the input to this to input NAND gate so for that I am going to instance type B pulse then in B pulse I have to give the voltage V1 and V2 so I am assigning voltage V1 as 1.8 volt ok and V2 as 0 then period period should be anything I am going to set 10 nanosecond then pulse width so pulse width uh, will be 5 nanosecond because I want to generate a uniform square pulse so hide this use this here then copy the ground so press C copy this ground and connect the negative terminal of the pulse with ground then press W and copy this uh, connect this okay now I want to use the B pulse here also so I am just copying this VD, B pulse and ground so left click here drag this and select this okay so now B, this B pulse and ground have selected press on C then copy this both and drag here okay now press Q go to properties and change the uh, period of this B pulse to observe a good output okay so I am going to change it 20 nanosecond no much and this should be 10 nanosecond for a square wave okay so after entering this uh, the period of this pulse is uh, different from this pulse now connect the wire okay now everything is fine press F for full screen 
and you press F full schematic will be uh, fit in a screen okay now go to check and save if there will be any error it will reflect here so a schematic uh, check completed with no errors cell analog doesn't exist in library gpdk it is warning okay because i have okay once i have uh, when i want to drag the people's so in gpdk 180 i have typed analogs so why this warning have reflected that time not this time okay so no need to worry then go to launch in adel right click on analysis section click on edit then set stop time to 100 nanosecond then click on moderate and click on ok then in output section click on edit from design you should select input so a b and y then go to setting output click on ok then go to adl now oh sorry then go to adl then uh, you should go to setup once check model libraries here gpdk 4590 every one is selected so i should only select gpdk 180 nanometer then click on ok now everything is correct run this simulation so this is the output waveform now you can see when first i have to make this more thicker and solid okay so width should be medium and a style should be solid okay now you can see when a is 0 b is 0 it is 1 so this is 2 input NAND gate so 0 into 0 is 0 at the invert of 0 is 1 so it is 1 when 1 it is 0 so 0 into 1 is 0 so invert of 0 is 1 when it is 1 it is 0 again the product is 0 so the invert of the 1 0 is 1 now when both a and b is 1 then this is 0 okay so when the both will be 1 it will 0 and in all other case it is 1 okay so this is the output of to input and gate everything is fine you can use the capacitor here also for doing the power analysis and switching frequency but uh, i do not have do this so this is all about two input nine gates thank you for this video